When Chongzhi became the emperor, he was only six years old. He was too young to rule the country, so two empress daughters represented him to rule the court. Cixi was crazy about the political power. She put all her effort into governing the court. Cixan was upset. She only made final decisions for important things. From the historical records, Cixi 孽于嫡庶之分，亦循循不敢失礼。This means Cixi know Cixan was the empress. She was the concubine. Even now, both of them were empress daughters. She still needed to respect and obey Cixan as she did. Cixan and Cixi reigned behind the curtain together for. Twenty years, most of the time, they had a good relationship, but their disagreement totally changed the future of the Qing Dynasty. According to Qing Dynasty Inner Court rules, Tongzhi should get married at forty years old, then started to rule the court by himself. This means after Tongzhi got married. Two empress daughters needed to return the political power back to Tongzhi. Cixan didn't care, but Cixi wanted to keep the power, so Cixi tried her best to delay Tongzhi's marriage. Until Tongzhi was seventeen years old, Cixi had to agree to choose the empress for Tongzhi. But Cixan and Cixi couldn't get agreement on who would be the empress. Cixan supported Alu Te Shi, while Cixi liked Fu Cha Shi. Alu Te Shi was four years older than Tongzhi. She was pretty and well educated. Her father, Chongqi, was the only Manchurian Zhuangyuan in the whole Qing Dynasty. And very important, Alu Te's biological mother was Cixan's cousin. Of course, Cixi didn't like the girl from Cixan's side became the empress, but this reason couldn't be publicly mentioned. Fu Cha Shi was four years younger than Tongzhi. The emperor Qianlong's beloved empress. Was from this family. Fu Cha Shi was really pretty and active. Cixi saw the young age herself from Fu Cha Shi, so Cixi really liked Fu Cha Shi. But Cixan said Fu Cha Shi was too active and not staid enough to be the empress. Two empress daughters couldn't appreciate each other, so. Tongzhi got the chance to choose her, choose himself. Cixi, as Tongzhi's biological mother, had confidence that Tongzhi would stand on her side and choose Fu Cha Shi. Unfortunately, Tongzhi didn't. In Qing Dynasty Inner Court, the biological mother was not allowed to raise her kids. Tongzhi was raised by Cixan. But Cixan broke the tradition, and allowed Cixi take care of Tongzhi with her. Cixan carefully took care of Tongzhi, and beloved and respected by Tongzhi. Cixi put her effort into ruling the court. When she had time to visit Tongzhi, she used this time to teach Tongzhi how to be a good emperor. So. Tongzhi didn't build a mother and son relationship with Cixi, although apparently Tongzhi really respected her. In early 1872, Alu Te Shi was elected to be the empress. Fu Cha Shi got a consort title, Hui Fei. Besides, Tongzhi also got two imperial concubines. And one noble lady, 
In October, eighteen seventy-two, Tong Zhi and his empress had their wedding ceremony. In spring, nineteen seventy-three, after waiting twelve years, Tong Zhi finally started to govern the court by himself. At this point, no one could imagine Tong Zhi would pass away in January. Eighteen seventy-five. In official documents, the cause of Tong Zhi's death was smallpox, but in many unofficial records, like Wang Tongshu Ruizi, Diary of Wang Tongshu, syphilis was the death of Tong Zhi. In Tong Zhi's last two years, he lived in the shadow of Cixi. In the court, he seems to govern the court using his way, but his order could not effect without Cixi's permission. Cixi still controlled the court, although she didn't sit behind the curtain. In the inner court, Cixi hated the new empress. She always required Tong Zhi spend less time with the empress. And spent more time with the consort Hui. At the beginning, Tong Zhi ignored Cixi's request because he really loved his wife. So he still spent time with the empress. Cixi was furious at Tong Zhi's response, so Cixi intentionally made things difficult for the empress to protect his wife. Tong Zhi had to stop visiting his empress. As revengement, Tong Zhi totally ignored the consort Hui. Tong Zhi passed away at twenty without any kids. Seventy-five days later, the Empress Alu Tezhi passed away at twenty-four. Someone said she was killed by Cixi. Someone said she suicide. The consort Hui was promoted to the imperial noble consort when Tong Zhi was hopelessly sick, and died at forty-six in nineteen zero four. Because Tong Zhi died without heir, two empress daughters chosen Zai Tian, known as Guang Xu, to be the new emperor. Zai Tian's father was the seventh son of the Emperor Dao Guang. His mother was Cixi's little sister. Zai Tian inherited the throne of the Emperor Xianfeng, so Cixan and Cixi were still the Emperor's daughters. When Zai Tian became the Emperor, he was only four years old. Two Emperor's daughters re reigns the Behind the curtain again, in August, eighteen eighty one, the Empress Dowager Cixan suddenly passed away. In the official documents, she was dead because of sickness. Well, in the rumors, she was poisoned by Cixi. After Cixan passed away, no one could limit the Cixi. She started her new life as the uncrowned emperor. Cixi's luxury lifestyles accelerated the destroy of the Qing dynasty. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.